Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Nikita from BISP Solution. In this session, we are going to see how we can create the repeating time periods. So let's start today's session. Repeating time period which in the time and labor are the time increment that are presented on the time card for time entry, submissions and approval like a weekly period that start on a Monday. So, Oracle delivers weekly, bi-weekly, monthly periods for time cards entry. And your approval period will match that time card entry period. So, now delivery time consumer set and time processing profile use delivered repeating time period. So, you can also use them in the processing configuration if you want. But you can't edit the delivery time period and... Uh, we will show you how to set up your own time period. But just remember that after you save them, you can edit only the name and the description. Nothing else. Okay. And here you can see on the slide, the period uses selection determines the period type. Here is the period uses and is, is it determined the period type. Okay. And then next we have the period type type selection determines the period length whatever you select here it determines the period length and period length selection determine if additional fields appear such as sample start date here you can see that okay so let's just move to the system and see how we can create the repeating time period Okay, so we are going to create the weekly time period. So, with a one week period length that start on a Monday. Okay, so first make sure you log in as an implementation user. Then we have to go to the setting and action after that setup and maintenance. And from here, change the setup. And the workforce deployment. Then select the time and labor. And here, if you see the repeating time period, here it is. Okay, just click on it. It's a required task. That's why it's appear here. So here on the repeating time period page, just click on the create icon to create new repeating time period. Okay, so on the creating repeating time period, you have to fill the details here, complete the details. So let's just fill all the details. So we are creating the weekly time period with one week period length that start on a Monday. So I'm just going to give the name according to our task so weekly. Starting Monday. Okay. And we have to give some meaningful description like use as time card. Then approval. And approval processing. Okay. And in the period uses, you have to select the time card, approval and accrual processing. Okay. Then we have to select the period type. Here you can see there is only period type field is right now visible. Once we select the period type, uh, we are going to select the weekly. The period length automatically populated. When we select the period length, for example, we are creating for the one week. Then the sample start date is automatically populated. Okay. So we have to select the sample start date uh, Monday of the current week. Okay. I'm just going to select this. Okay. Then here is a preview date. So a date that is at least three weeks earlier than today. Okay. So, 
three weeks earlier. Okay, let's select this 17. Okay. And then select the preview period and date. So this date is at least three weeks later than today. Okay, so let's select this. Then, so just click the preview time card period to view all the period instance within the selected test period start and end dates. Here you can see that period start date and period end date. So now we have to just click on the save and close option. So these are the details you have to fill when you create the time period. Okay. And here it is the time period we just created. So I hope this task is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching the video.